my name is Asher Jones. I'm currently studying um, a national MVQ Level 3 apprenticeship in motorsport at ProDrive Motorsports. Uh, when I was younger, I, um, well, I've always had a keen interest in motorsport um, and through my own racing, I've raced go-karts for the last 12 years since I was eight. Um, I attended motorsport uh, college in Bicester um, and studied the two-year BTEC National Diploma in Motorsport Engineering course. Um, I heard that the apprenticeship at ProDrive um, uh, was available um, through the college. I applied for the apprenticeship through the college and was success sorry, successful in uh, becoming one of the apprenticeships on the apprenticeships at ProDrive. recommended to anybody and I have done in the past um, there is one um, colleague I work with now who I mentioned the apprenticeship to and he studied the BTEC National Diploma prior to getting the apprenticeship at ProDrive um, and that helped him in order to get to where he is now. He loved the course as much as I did. All the tutors at the Bicester College were fantastic. They helped you with no matter what you wanted and afterwards once you completed the course to move on in order to either get an apprenticeship, apply for university or a job in the motorsport industry. Towards the end of my um, M uh, BTEC National Diploma there was a, a talk with um, the apprentice coordinator at the time from ProDrive. He came in to explain how the apprenticeship worked at ProDrive, how to apply uh, and how, uh, how many people they take on. The, the uh, ProDrive apprenticeship was only advertised through the Bicester College, which was good for the students there at the time. Uh, it wasn't applied, sorry, it wasn't uh, advertised anywhere else, so that gave you real um, exclusivity to the apprenticeship. Um, and again, the college helped me in order to you know, brush up on my interview skills, get my CV up to date, um, and also improve you know, the way I come across to ProDrive as a company to make myself more important. I've, had, I've been really lucky on my apprenticeship. Um, when I came here, I, so on the first year, you move around all the various uh, departments within the site. Uh, and the second year, once you've completed that, you get the chance in order to choose which department you want to go into. Now, I've, because of my motorsport background and my love of motorsport, I don't, well, as an apprentice, you don't get the chance to go onto the race team in your first year. So I was quite lucky and fortunate enough to get on to the Aston Martin racing team um, still as an apprentice. Um, I was able to go away for a couple of races in 2011 or the end of 2011 and experience how they work and how the department works. And ever since then, I've been lucky enough to stay in the department. I've traveled around the world in the World Endurance Championship for the last two seasons. Um, and I've progressed my, um, my position within the team from a junior technician, which is what I started out as, to a number two mechanic. Um, and I just love the environment, the going away, the traveling, the sightseeing, meeting all the drivers. The work, even though it is hard work, it's still enjoyable and it's just what every young lad's wanted to do from a young age really. As a youngster I never, I, ne I always dreamt of being at the race circuit as a mechanic but I never thought I would see the day where I'm actually doing it for my job and I wake up every morning to go to work and I enjoy the drive to work because I always think what am I going to do today you know and for me, that is what motivates me in my job, is that I have an actual interest in the job and working on a car like that, you know, for you know, the last couple of years has just been brilliant. I, I, just, I just can't describe how good it is and, how, and where I've come from and where I've always wanted to get to as a youngster to be able to do what I'm doing now.